the food stamps. I'm sorry, go ahead. Sir. Oh, no, 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 man. I'm glad you handled it, Giddy, you know, co host. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we on now. Uh, let's, let's introduce my panel, my co host, co host. Starting to my right, we got. To his right, we got Brother Doug. What's going on? I'm rich. So tell us what, what you do, you know. Uh, well, I mean, what put what what put me into to activism was art. Okay. And uh, so um, I'm an artist. Throughout the years, I've you know used hip hop okay. as a platform, but more alternative, revolutionary hip hop. Okay. Okay. And uh, so, uh, and I'm an abolitionist, you know trying to uh, contribute to ab abolishing the slavery that we're the system that we're we're living under mm -hmm. and uh, right now i chair a criminal justice committee <clears throat> with the clayton county branch NAACP, okay. and i'm really focusing on ma mass incarceration okay. uh, racial profiling right. the school to prison pipeline the uh, <clears throat> intracommunal violence that goes that's going on in our communities mm -hmm. from the uh, uh the, you know from the war on drugs okay. this phony war on drugs mm -hmm. And uh, mass incarceration, the prison industrial complex, and and all that. So uh, once you start getting into that, you you, you start realize seeing more and more, and you're able to connect the dots on the the evils of this system. Mm. And then you start to notice how many people are really asleep. You know. Right. Mm. Exactly. Right, we mm. get into that. Yeah. Mm. So here's why we got King. Uh oh. King. <laughs> I'm a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah. Uh, servant, servant, my brother. Honored though, honored black. You are you only allow kings on here. <laughs> uh, somebody call security. I'm not yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. Well, you know, allow yes. kings. Well, you know, not only am I uh, not a king, I'm, 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 uh, I, even though I'm locking, as I get older, I start losing more locks. So you know, <laughs> as you get older, you lose a lot. <laughs> and it's one of those things that you have to just adjust to mm -hmm. because it's who I am. I will not be doing hair Grecian formula or hair stamps or mm -hmm. any of that stuff mm -hmm. as I, I let it grow and, right. and thin as it does. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Get back to what he was saying, you know, NAACP, yeah. you know, I uh, hear, I see the thing you got there, Doug, the world marijuana. Oh, yeah, right yeah. Tonight. Yeah, I want folks to, 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 uh, to be aware of this report. It came out about five months ago. Right. And once you, once you open this book and you see what's going on across the country, mm -hmm. you just, it, 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 it almost makes your stomach turn. It's mm. disgusting. This is, this is the overt, this, this shows the overt racial profiling that's going on across the country. And I wish we could show it on your screen. Well, my question is, I mean, <clears throat> you know, I mean, I, you know, Yanga mm -hmm. and Gideon, and we consider ourselves revolutionary. Right. And, you know, um, you know, I always like to refer back to nature, you know. One thing that I envy of the squirrels, the rabbit, the bat, the cat, the rat, is their alertness. Mm -hmm. You know, the marijuana seems to take that away. I mean, do we, can we afford to smoke the Mary Jane and we, uh, some of such harsh conditions. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you do you want to? Use this one. You need to use this mic. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Do you want to? Uh, I apologize here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right. Logistical stuff. Going on. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Hey. That'll work. That's community, community, community <laughs> right. Right. It makes it more original, man, right. and right. authentic. It's real. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, do you want to make a comment on that, on the marijuana? What were you say? What were you saying? Well, I was saying, I mean, you know, can we afford to get high, just kick back and blaze and <laughs> blow smoke? You know, okay, under well, these harsh, you know, conditions, oppressions. Well, you know? here's the thing, man. This this is something that people have used for thousands of years. You right. know what I'm saying? All right. Okay. So uh, there's a lot of miscon misconceptions and misinformation that's been put out against marijuana for years and years and years right and my father actually w was was one of those people okay and uh after he when, when he got cancer uh he didn't have an appetite he was real frail right and uh he had heard that marijuana you know would help him have an appetite so <clears throat> so he asked me if i still smoke marijuana and, and this was when i was in college okay you know? so i gave i let him uh, uh smoke some some weed you know and uh after he after he smoked it, he said, "You know, all this time I thought that this was something completely different. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. 
this is this isn't as bad as it's been made out to be. And it, now that it's being like what's going on in Colorado and Washington, where it's being regulated and controlled, mm -hmm. it'll be just like alcohol. It'll just mm -hmm. be like mm -hmm. when you go in a liquor store, you, you have a choice between whether you want to buy a beer or you want to buy tequila. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with marijuana. You don't have to buy weed that's going to get you completely. Mm -hmm. messed up mm -hmm. you can buy some weed that's going to be just a mild evening while you relax at home there's okay. marijuana that's being used <clears throat> uh, Sanja Gupta had a good report on CNN mm -hmm. uh, the, the marijuana was being used for a girl that was having seizures mm -hmm. she was having about mm -hmm. 400 seizures exactly. a day right I saw that yeah. and after she had th this particular marijuana it had basically no THC in it at all but you know what I want to and, and Yang I'm gonna come to you mm -hmm. you know because I uh, I want to give a shout out to Chi. You know, she mentioned that the industry is not here to heal. Right, right. We, we can't make money off people healing. You know, mm -hmm. Doug talked about the weed healing people. We mm -hmm. can't have that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are we going to make money, Yanga? Pharmaceuticals. I, right. Exactly. I think that that's, that's, that's one of the reasons that I do think that they want to, you know, legalize it is, is to get the money off of it. Right. You okay. Know, mm. That's the whole thing. Is to get to get money off it. It's an underground market. It's a black market. Right. Okay. And if you can bring it above ground, if you can control it, you can control the uh, quantity and the quality of it. Then it is going to be it is going to be a money maker for the for the uh, system. I don't know. You know how do how do I feel about? I, I don't know. To go back to like what well, you were saying up. and like what Brother Dougie was saying. I mean, for thousands of years, it has been used for medical purposes. Mm -hmm. And uh, even I think it was one, I can't remember where I read it, that they had excavated a, a place in Africa somewhere and excavated it was mm -hmm. a birth chamber. Mm -hmm. And in the fire, they found petrified marijuana mm -hmm. that they had used to alleviate some of the birth pains wow. from, the, from, from the women. So I think that it's, it goes back to that old movie I watched, went to that Reef of Madness. Right, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. right. It goes. It's a lot of the stigma and a lot of things propaganda. attached to it. Right. It's a lot of the just anti-marijuana propaganda, and uh, I don't know. That's bad. Well, <laughs> That's uh, Drug bad. Policy Alliance, uh, Ethan Nadelman. Mm -hmm. um, he's the executive director of Drug Policy Alliance, and. He came to town about two months ago, and that's what he was talking about. Someone, someone asked a question: What about the the, the low-level dealer? That's you know, what, that's what he's used to get by. Mm -hmm. Right. What about him? Is he going to be squeezed out of this industry that gets taken over by the, the Marlboros and the Gatorades mm -hmm. of the world, and they start marketing? It. And uh, exactly. they they were trying to work it out in each state, you know, uh, differently. But not to, to also give the people who have been you know, using the industry to survive a part in the industry. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's not completely corporatized and taken over by, by these corporations. So it could be a means of you know employment for a lot of people. Okay. I mean, it's the number one like cash crop in the United States. Yeah. Now Gideon, mm -hmm. you know Doug and Yanga talk about thousands of years we didn't use herb for the pregnant ladies and mm -hmm. hear the blind and the sick and all that. But you know. Nature, in my opinion, is number one defense is this alertness. Right. Being right. alert. You ever see a squirrel? They look down, they look up. Mm -hmm. Look right. down, look up. Right. Look down, look up. Right. Are we taking that away with the marijuana? It's a good thing we're not squirrels. <laughs> 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 hey, the squirrel gets the net. Right. You know, hey, right. you know. What, 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 what I'm saying is, I mean, is that this, every, is, this every, is the whole thing about being civilized. This is the whole thing about being men. You know what I'm saying? That we we we've we've elevated and evolved past that the state of the deer or just the prey predator type of where we have to be. You know, well, to that standard. Our alertness is in a different way, Yang. Yeah, like mm -hmm. you know, we're alert. Oh, them cops are behind. You know. Or, yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it it's a way out. better alternative than the people going out getting drunk. Absolutely. And, and okay, and, right, and, right. Uh, I mean, look, we're, this is the Super Bowl day. Okay. And do you know that domestic violence is like one of the highest, uh, the Super Bowl day is one of the highest days for domestic mm, violence? Interesting. And it's because people are out getting drunk. Mm -hmm. And, and this, we live in this macho culture where uh, people still feel it's okay to put their hands on a woman. Mm -hmm. And alcohol, doesn't, it, alcohol helps, helps bring out the beast and the aggression of mm -hmm. a lot of uh, sexist men. So uh, I haven't heard of a whole lot of people who smoke weed going out beating each other. You know, if anything, they're having a peaceful time. However, let's look at this from a corporate standpoint. Let's look at your Monsantos and Walmarts. Mm -hmm. And let's look, let's just look, let's look, look at this from a simply capitalistic point of view. Uh, you're saying, you know, the domestic violence, and, and, and that's a very good point, but we're looking at the numbers. 
You got a Mr. Monsanto? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm Mr. Walmart. Yeah, that's what I'm you know, the highest recidivism rate is marijuana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, we can put this on the streets. You know, we got to fill these prisons up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what I'm and saying. So if you legalize it, I mean, 60% of our uh, uh, population of prisons mm -hmm. is for a nonviolent drug exactly. offense. Exactly. Okay, so, so if you take the marijuana as far as the dr drugs in the United States, it, it, it accounts for 60% of the drugs that people use 60 percent okay so if you if you legalize that that takes a whole segment of the population out of uh, uh, our prisons wait a minute it's, it's, you're I mean, talking we got, about exactly emptying our prisons dear right. Doug. yes mm -hmm. we need, need yes. labor yeah. Yeah. right yeah, yeah. yeah. see it's been labor. used it, when you learn more and more about it you start you you, you learn that it's been a way of racial control mm -hmm. exactly. you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. over the past hundred years mm -hmm. so right. so you're getting it right so if if, if, if we got to get rid of these racist laws man because the yeah. whole what th this report that came out from the aclu okay uh, uh th we all use uh ma marijuana uh, at the same level whether you're black white or hispanic right. mm -hmm. about 13 percent mm -hmm. and actually it's a little bit less for uh for for black folks mm -hmm. like a half a percent less mm -hmm. but 78 percent of the drug war has only been isolated to the black and his and, and, and latino yeah. community yeah right they had uh 72 percent of all the drugs being used in the united states are being used by white people yes mm -hmm. but right. the police aren't spending their attention in those communities mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. my thing is if they're gonna uh, 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 let's just be fair about this thing you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're gonna if you're gonna patrol us like like animals mm -hmm. and pull up pull people over harass people search through their cars Mm -hmm. and stigmatize people constantly by the police this is what we're doing we're dealing Stop with this every frisk. single day right. Stop and frisk five million people in an eight year period yeah but let's be realistic i mean we live in a it's in the a pretext country. it's the excuse they use, use. it's the excuse right. they right. use to harass humiliate brutalize and murder people yeah. you know what i'm I saying mean, so uh but let's be so realistic. that's the end if they if they're going to play that game they need to go out to their community and do it which but, never happened. Right. Let's be realistic. I mean, let, let's look at your Trayvon Martins. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's look at your George Steinies. Mm -hmm. Let's look at your Mamiya Abu Jamal's. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, I mean, we, we complain and say, They've oh, criminalized you know, black lives. Yeah. They've criminalized yeah. black lives. Right. Yeah. And right. Gideon, but, well, yeah. Kendrick Johnson, I mean, just hearing what you are saying, what you're really outlining is white supremacy, white privilege, and oppression. Yes. yes. Mm. You see? Yes. I Every mean, that's what day. you define. Mm -hmm. I mean, but you deal with it in a segmented framework. Look at there's this report and this is this is Georgia. Look at look at you have four t 14 times more likely to be arrested for marijuana in Gordon County if you're a black than right. compared mm -hmm. to white. Right. And there's less black people in Gordon County. <laughs> <than white. laughs> so look at that. Right, right. right. It doesn't, you know, but uh, that's one of the things. Look at Fulton County. Absolutely. It's not, right. a, it's not surprising. 97% of the uh, uh, people that are in the uh, jails has to do with marijuana. Right. Okay, but here's, 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 here's the question. Here's my question. And it, and it goes to, and it always goes back to me with like the politics thing. A lot of this, in my opinion, is due to our non-involvement in the political I process. I agree. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. No, I agree. No. I agree. My dear brother. <laughs> hey, hey, but I think if we get the information it's, it's, it's to the people, supremacy. this will get people more motivated once they connect yeah. the dots and realize that, you know, yeah. uh, uh, what's, yeah. the, what's going on. Yeah. Well, what, a lot what, of folks don't even know. We've, but, we've become adjusted, like, my, like Martin used to say, yeah. we've become adjusted to injustice. That, yes. Well, see, yes. now therein lies the point. The political process as well is shifted and shaped according to white supremacist control, the elite, the oligarchy, the mm -hmm. corporations control the political structure. Right. So even though to give you the semblance of equality, we know from the impregnated chads to the mm -hmm. Gore Bush election mm -hmm. where Gore yeah. won the popular vote, Bush took the uh, yeah, 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 I just see, this is what we got to do. But look at the demographic the demographics, the demographics have, have, have shifted though, man. Women make up over 50% of the population, right? Right, absolutely. Okay, black and Latinos, together, we make up about 25% of the population. Right. Right? Right. So that's 75 right there. Right. But so that's if only all, if it's, it's, it's fair. So if we all go it, vote, if we, what the problem right. is, is See, we don't go vote. 40% of the United States doesn't go vote Listen, because no. they feel apathetic. Mm -hmm. They right. feel that their vote mm -hmm. doesn't count. Gore right. you know Bush what I'm election. Did anybody hear me? We heard yeah, it. Okay, yeah. Gore yeah. won the popular vote. But if, right. we overwhelm, <laughs> if we overwhelm the vote, they can't cheat it. 
Exactly. Oh, they, they can exactly. cheat it because they run the a uh, computer program mm-hmm. that controls the uh, the tallies right. of the vote. But get in, but get but, in. Come on now. Brandon well, made look, a very it, beautiful we point. We got to make sure week. that we have control and access to that, so that we have control of that. Okay. okay. Right. right. Cynthia McKinnon, and, right. right here in Atlanta, they had the issue with the voting machines and how they were being tampered with. And they okay. were changing. Right. Uh, absolutely. And they were changing the districts. But that's what we're saying. You know, one of the things is I don't believe in just the reformists. Just a reform, uh, reformist activism by itself. I do believe in revolutionary actions. Okay. But our non-involvement, I said, whether we like it or not, we are going to feel the effects of the politicians and policies that are made and targeted for us as a people. Certainly. You know what I'm saying? So if we're not in there, if we don't have people in place to act as buffers, mm. if we don't have people in place to bring about the awareness and to bring about the knowledge of what's going on, like our dear brother Dougie here, mm. with the information, wow. then we'll always just be the recipients. Well, let, uh, you know wait, now let me throw Bobby this one at you. Said, wait a minute, said, hold on. Bobby, let me throw this one at you. Bobby Putnam County, Bobby yes. Georgia, the Amalekai Z York, his group, they go down they get involved in the political environment. They don't break any laws. They said what they did is start building pyramids. Mm-hmm. Once they did that, despite their political position, they went infiltrated. They crushed them on moral and ethical Thank issues, you. though. They, but I mean, all, everything, has to, yeah, but yeah, everything yeah. has to be in line. Everything has to be in line. They got alive. Rico waiting on you. If they don't get you yeah. on that, they got Rico. I'm, Come on, I'm, man. I'm with, I'm with him, though. We, we need to use any. And means, all means yes. necessary against this system. What has it achieved so, for us thus far? What has we still it? have Trayvon what Martin. Has we have Kendrick Lamar. You can sit on the we front have of the two bus. West Virginia <laughs> brothers <laughs> who buy land and own it outright. This is 2014 and get shot dead for walking on their but own listen, land. But listen, listen. If we, I'm sorry, no, brother. Listen. If we're, if yeah, we're, yeah, if yeah, we're yeah, looking yeah, at, if we're looking at, if we're looking at, like I said, I go back and forth. If we're looking at reformism and complete uh, integration into a system as our only solution, then me personally, I do feel like that we'll fail. If right. that's the only, my, you know I'm a black nationalist. Absolutely. So my thing, that is just a part of black nationalism. Okay. Like our dear brother Malcolm said, he said black nationalism is wherever you find the majority of black people, they control the social, the economic, the education, right. and the political, yes, and the political of their right. communities. That's right. So what we have to do is we know these things are going to go on. But we have to have things that represent, we live in a capitalist system, we live in a system that already has a political structure set up, and to be isolationist and separatist without involving ourselves in this system is suicidal. Well, let, right. me, say, right. let me throw this at I you, agree, though. When man. you look at I the agree. origins of the system, it, the capitalism and the capital that they use was us. So once you become indoctrinated into a system that systematically used you as its capital, you then, by de facto, uh, verify and authenticate them using you as the capital, which they have taken away your identity, made you a number, and use you for their tax purposes on the international market. Then you capitalize on yourself. If you're already in capital, if we know where the capital, if we know billions of dollars of, a day are going out of our community, then we have to control and maintain those billion dollars a day. That's right. That's all I'm simply saying. Right. And the way to do that is we're going to have to build our organizations. Right now, we're gonna, there's some rules and regulations and things we're going to have to go through until the revolutionary process is, is, is made. Okay. You know, a revolutionary, what he does is look for the revolution, look for the conditions to be able to exploit, to bring about the revolution. Exactly. But until that time has come, we have to live everyday thing. We have so Koreans right. capitalizing on, on hair care product. I mean, Hell things no. that are specifically targeted for us. Exactly. But a lot of this is because of the laws and a lot of things we don't get involved in. So what we have to do is involve ourselves in every way, shape, form, and fashion right, right. of the system yes. to be able to get in to act as buffer zones, to exploit it, to do whatever we can to empower us and liberate us as a people. There is no way that you can live in a land and just be totally oblivious to the laws and rules of that land. See, There's Bobby, no way uh, Bobby Seale uh, from the Black Panther Party uh, brought up that point that, uh, you know, uh, when the Black Panther Party started, uh, there was about 50 political offices around the whole country that were held by black people. Mm-hmm. You know right. what I'm saying? Only 50. Right. And now we're, we're, we're at about 17, 18,000 uh, um, positions. That's right. So the, right. the conditions have changed. Yes, they have. And, 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 and uh, uh, you can't, I'm not saying that uh, the idea of revolution and just having the whole system change immediately mm-hmm. is not a great option. But what I am saying is that we, use, we should use every and all means ne- you know, that we can every single time. And who knows, 10 years from now, right. we could have 30,000 people 
uh, in positions of power and right. political power, you know. So, uh, uh, well, we uh, have people well, in five the, major the, 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 What I'm saying is that the conditions are different. Mm -hmm. The conditions are different than they were in, in, the, in the late 60s and 70s. Well, yeah. let, me, let me say this. As a, an activist, community activist, dealing with the uh, uh, dean of the civil rights movement, Dr. Joseph Echols Lowry, mm -hmm. and the People's Agenda, uh, these are not people who weren't aware of what was going on. They walk with King. Mm -hmm. They are still here today. But what you find is through their complacency and through being indoctrinated into white supremacy, the ritual of us being separate from the people who are oppressing us has changed from us being separate to us just being allowed to be have access to what whites have. Right. That system is not designed for us. Mm -hmm. It never was. Now, what they've done is taken the color out of it and made it a financial component. It's a class thing. It's a class Correct. thing now. But at the end of the day, we still are the underclass. Right. Even when the... This well, is what, no, wait, wait, hold on. Okay. This is the point I wanted to make. Okay. Tyrone Brooks was sent by the civil rights activists to get involved with the political structure so he could be the inside man. Mm -hmm. Tyrone Brooks is right now up on charges by that political structure mm -hmm. that has deemed him a threat because he is not under their control. He is a state senator, but he's still working through the public arena to raise up the thoughts and the, the process of our people thinking but through a political process. And mm. what did the political process do? Made him uh, uh, a Any, demon and it, now absolutely. holding him up on charge. But so, anytime uh, so, you, so are you saying, so, so, okay, so are you saying that we shouldn't be a part of the political process? Is that what you're saying? I'm saying we should not because when the Messiah, Yeshua, walked oh, on the planet. Oh, in the car. <laughs> <laughs> in the car. Wait, 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 he said wait, rigor wait, under Caesars, what is what is Caesars? He, he did. He yeah. didn't he wasn't it, it wasn't isolation. One of the things you talk about Tyrone Brooks and a lot of these people is what you have to understand is when we put complete faith in the political process and okay. lose the faith of our people. Prime example, Mary and Barry in DC. Hello? Right. When you have when the people have your back, this dude was on camera smoking crack. Hello? That's and right. still got in there again. When the people have your back, as, as misguided as it may be, right? you know what I'm saying, or whatever my personal views or beliefs about that, right. it shows the power of the people. Right. When the people have your back, when you never forget your base, when right. you never forget where you come from and you right. educate the people. Right. Right. You see, And this is what we have to do. We have right. to educate the people. We don't tell our people to have complete and total faith right. in a system that we know historically has been against us and has capitalized on us, but we're telling our people that we can't be so uh, complacent right. that we don't become involved, that we become like my mother says, so heavenly bound that we're no earthly good. Now, this right. is the point that I was about right. to make right. Right. See, okay. the Messiah came and established, see, we don't submit to a lower genetic, inferior ideology coming from an inferior genetic uh, product called the European. We know they themselves know that their genetic makeup is inferior to ours because when you make two of us, the one that comes out don't look like them, it looks like us. This is the issue. When we talk about superiority, why would we follow them when we can develop our own government? How do you that's do that? That's what the Messiah, but see that, that, okay, but, but see, tribal that's not, culture. Hold on, Gideon. That's not going to work with black people. A theocracy is not going to work. Like not I said, a theocracy. It, that I is say, a theocracy. I said, you said wait on y'all. Culture. Did you not say wait on y'all? No, sir. You did not say <laughs> Wait a minute. Let First me say, of all, let me, let me, let me say tribal this. Tribal culture is what I said. We're going to war already because Yanga came up with a good plan last week when we talked about George Stein. He said, tie up the dang, you know what I'm saying? tell folks who he is again. Yeah. Oh, George watching. Stein was the youngest person in U.S. history to be executed at age 14 in North South Carolina. Mm -hmm. You know, he was executed because he was accused of killing two uh, white girls, one age 1943. Mm -hmm. But Gideon, if we would have used Yanga's strategy, if there was a you know, jury pool to tie up there, it would have never happened. There would be no Mamiya, and, and you know what I'm saying? There would be no jury. The white man's I'm sure no, I'm trusting my people. No, I'm trusting. No, I'm, but look, look, at the the look at the jury. Yeah, look at the jury. Look at the jury. Look at the jury. If we register vote, you don't get selected for jury duty if you don't register to vote. That's right. You look at it. Look at Imam Jamil Abdul Alameen. We don't have enough of our faces on the jury. Right. We are not counting too I'm much. Whether, what, what ends up happening, my dear brother Gideon, 
if we sit by, well, you have to understand that they control the monies that come into our community. Um, Richard Black, Arthur Blank, what's his name? Arthur Blank. Arthur Blank's just made this thing. He vows so many million. You know, I operate the Panthers. We operate in the Vine City area. Right. He vows so many million to the Vine City area, right. this and that. Right. But how much of that is really going to be allocated to helping to fix up our community and not move us out here, not for the hotels and right. the people to come in for that? But until we have representatives, until we get in there, this uh, our fourth, our third ward, um, rep or whatever mm -hmm. and to us as african people yeah. coming in and demand Ooh, that's it that's you know so we right have to there. demand we have to stay on top of right. we have, but we have to be educated and we have to be involved I agree. but right. our, our answer isn't money it's not about money. It's about involvement. It's not just agree. because just because it's we get involved money. in a political process, it doesn't mean that you wholeheartedly believe or that you even believe in that political process. What it is, it is a tactic and strategy That's of right. any type of war that is taken. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Infiltrate. We can't, if, you know, infiltrate or anything. We have to get in there, and our faces have to be seen, mm -hmm. our voices have to be heard, That's right. and our pain has to be felt. That's right. And we have to, whatever way, by any means necessary, that has to be done. Right. It is unrealistic. And it's not practical to think that overnight a revolution is going to happen. One of the failures of the third development Panthers, what we call the third development, okay. under the leadership of Huey and Bobby thing, okay. was they romanticized the revolution. Mm. They romanticized. Yes, they yes. thought that they was going to have the guns and this. And even then, when you when they stopped them and questioned, what did they quote? Laws. Exactly. When they tried to change the gun law, what did they do? They stormed the scene. They was trying to, so it was the law. So it was the non-participation in certain things. They got the gun rule, uh, gun law outvoted. They got them disarmed. It was the romanticizing of an overnight revolution that got that that brought a, a lot of the pain and a lot of failure to the Panther Party. So in this day and time, we have to study those mistakes. And like I've quoted before, one of my mentors, Dr. Ahmed Mohammed, said that this the failure of our movement last time was the division between the reformists and the revolution. Mm -hmm. Now we can't afford to have that division. Gotcha. We have to have everybody. That's right. You know, I, I, go ahead, because we just going I, on. Right, that's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. right. That's right. I'm on that side. That's level I'm on. Because exactly. they got your Bibles in the prison. They got your Jesuses and your Yahs and whatever you want to talk in the prison system. It is not working. You cannot unite us on no Yah and Jesus and Muhammad. No, mm -hmm. we need to unite on clean air, clean water, yes, livable wages. Right. Yeah, that's, that's that, what's going to move us. That's my thing too. Uh, 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 you know, I, I grew up in the church, mm -hmm. and, right. uh, uh, and and I got baptized probably about uh, about three four years ago. And that's when, when I mm. I don't necessarily read the Bible on a regular basis, but that that action that symbolism it did kind of it changed my life, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and. Uh, 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 so people's faith Good. does play a big part mm. of, yes. uh, mm. uh, of seeing the light and connecting the dots and having compassion mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and, and realizing yeah, that. Yeah, but what uh, I'm saying, uh, though, at the same time, it might move this group of people. But, you know, like, you know, as, but, as, as like an I, atheist, like I'm I said, I'm not a, Like us. I said, I'm not a zealot, though. You right, know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, I don't, no, let, I I don't let my religion, uh, 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 I don't push my religion down anybody's mm. No, 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 that's religion. good. Or that's my good. faith yeah. down anybody. But, and I, that's but, good, I, right? but I, I want to work with all people, whether they're, right. whether they're too, Christians, right. whether they're Muslims, exactly. whether they're Jews, mm -hmm. whether they're atheists, mm -hmm. whether they're right. agnostics. That's exactly. Right. You know, uh, uh, exactly. we all need to come together because we, right, once we all unite say, and don't let any of our differences, you know, that's right. what those they labels. fear. That's those labels. Were, right. uh, uh, the gay community. I mean, all of right, us right. come all together. The, yeah. Right, right. Uh, against well, yeah, because what I'm saying is that we we've, we've been pushed to that point now. Mm -hmm. You know, what I'm saying they they're they doing chemtrails. Mm -hmm. they're, they're affecting your air. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. they're affect. They got uh, hydrofluoric silicic acid in the water. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They don't affect your water. That kills Muslims that's and Christians. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, right. 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 genetically <laughs> modifying your food, and they're finding out right. Right. That, that, right. that the tumors and the rats are out, out of control, exactly. looking like the it's, elephant rat. Man. Exactly. Right. It's it's, so it's now, like you said. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I just so it's a good conversation. It's like your brother said. You know, our faith is our personal motivation. Do in fact, mm -hmm. you know, coming up a Muslim and and, and raised a Muslim, that was my first sign of that was what first taught me to be a humanitarian exactly. was my the golden rule doing to others as you have them doing to you this and that right. so it does play a very big important part in my life and a lot of people's life right. as a moral and ethical compass that you know hey don't do this don't do that mm -hmm. i would not me personally even as a muslim i wouldn't want to live under islamic government that's mm. right. And that's as a Muslim. Of, because a, of an extremist. Of, an extremist. Of, 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 of really any type. Right. Mm. I'm going to be honest. Right, of really right, right. any type. Exactly. I think I do believe, and I know Secular. a lot of Muslims are going to be, oh, man, how do you say I do believe in the separation of church and state. Yeah, absolutely. Because absolutely. I believe that everyone has the right 
to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness without yeah. willful hindrance or encumbrance. And is that based on someone's because Jesus told them, That's you know, right. and Jesus right. ain't right. told me because Allah had told them and the law hadn't told this brother. That's right. So I it think it could be dangerous. Right. It could be, be very dangerous. But if right. that's your personal motivation, hey, that's cool. Right. You know, but I, I think the thing is, is we have to realize as an African people here in America, when we're pulled over in that car, they don't say, Assalamu alaikum, get out of the car and beat you up, Muslim nigga. They say nigga. They don't say, you know, or Christian nigga, this and that. They say that. That's right. We have to stop. I think one of the things was with the civil rights movement, first of all, me personally, I think the message of Dr. King was uh, distorted and perverted. Absolutely. Right. I think Dr. Yeah. King was simply saying this. He was saying that if I have to go to your stores and spend my money, I am not going through a back door. Exactly. If I have to pay money to ride your bus, right. I am not going to be forced to sit in the back of the exactly. bus. Right. So right. I want equality. Hey. It's not all about trying to be you. you. Exactly. It's about that my pennies add up too exactly. and he showed him with the bus boycott so i think that through the line the system has distorted that message wait a minute now let me jump in because okay. what you just identified through the bus boycott is what i identifying as an alternate government within the people itself we're talking about civic action yes sir that goes beyond the government the oligarchy mm -hmm. the, the people that are, go and take oath and swear and get paid by that mm -hmm. unit mm -hmm. they went and did proactive grassroots Unification Absolutely. from the people. Absolutely, that is that was revolution. It was revolution. It, still it was revolution, yeah. and, it, and laws were changed. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it took the yeah. revolutionary, even though they weren't revolutionaries. They were they revolution were, and didn't even know. It. They well, they didn't know. They yeah. practiced that any type of change is an act of revolution. Like our homosexual yeah. community, our dear brothers in the homosexual community performed the revolution right before our eyes. A lot of them would say, anytime the laws were stated on the books, marriage is the union between a man and a woman. Right. By their political involvement, right. economic involvement, okay. and street tactics of yes. protest, a revolution took place and now the laws have been changed. Well, see, so I, it takes all of that right. involvement. Okay. There's not going to be, you know, Malcolm said, if you pick it and protest, the white man only goes to sleep until you're done. <laughs> exactly. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. So you have to be, and we have to, I think exactly. not to get involved is to discredit the third good marshals. It's to discredit a lot of the laws and things that have taken place that has allowed us to sit right here on this television but program these and, and voice. These are conformists. <laughs> okay, okay, but what, what, it takes, the, in a revolution, it takes that. In the revolution, it takes. It doesn't take. Oppressing? It doesn't take conformity. I don't think it was so much conformist because if it was conformism, then you wouldn't have the advancement of black people. They would have been happy with the status quo. Have we advanced? We have Gideon. advanced. To we say have. we haven't advanced, Gideon, is to do it exactly. You're not in a cotton oh, that field, bro. Which reminds me. Which reminds me. We aren't. Yeah, I'm not in a cotton field. Have you ever seen this book? Man, it? listen. This, it's called uh, uh, Without, Without Sanctuary. Without Sanctuary. Yes. Yes. yes, this guy's This guy's all the lynchings that went. Uh, a lot of the lynchings that went on down here, you know, in the south. That, what you mean yeah. went on? And, uh, it's uh, still uh, going on. Lynch. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that it just got perfect. But to say you that we. In the, la the, yeah, the latest. But to say that we have, I'm gonna tell you something. We do. We do. Let me let me say because we do a very great disservice to our ancestors when we when we equate slave wages with slavery. You get paid. There is nothing we can't. You had ancestors that worked from can't see morning to can't see night physically. Didn't get paid anything. Their children were snatched from their arms. Right. They were murdered, maimed, sold, still, taken from a land. Still doing it. And, but Gideon, we're on a television show with microphone. I mean, not to thank, and, and you and I being religious people, no. Right. Not to thank the Most High for even the minor oh, sure. advancement I, I, I that we have made. That. Not to acknowledge that we have made it. To say that we're still in the uh, same state no. is, I don't think is Let an accurate say, statement. Not the same. I, think, I the, think we are worse. Because I, not oh, only really? have we, I can define it. And <laughs> you can look at it well, economically, you can look at it socially, you can look at our family structure as it disintegrates. Worse right than slavery. Our, Slavery has not changed. See, that's the thing. They told us we were out. We're we still slave, but I mean worse than exactly. chattel slavery. Well, the chattel slavery with us having physical change, exactly. obviously, so, there is a step from that. So I'm asking, yeah. what is the worst? I will agree right, with right, that. Right. Not so, only what is the worst, <laughs> but what, what, we're what, still slaves. What yeah, we're still right. slaves. Okay, well, but, Gideon, but you know what? What system do you offer that's better? We're looking at the system right now. The system is being pre propagated. No, 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 Gideon, no, that's yes. not my question. 
What do you have to offer? What does y'all have to offer that's better? Well, that is, that's that's that, that's man. I was not enough. Y'all, I said that. it earlier. It is tribalism and cultural identity. Well, Each one of us at this table have a historical re uh, responsibility to define who we are what as culture? a people. But, but and that you culture know, then, what system wait a minute, is hold on. That culture then has system, to be dude. legitimized by the laws of this country. Right now, we sit at this table and are only known by a number. Yeah. And they have no Gideon. reference to our historical, Gideon. geographic Gideon. background in Gideon. which we come. So we're all here. We're all in the arena. What we're trying to do, what we're all coming from different perspectives. Maybe some, a few different viewpoints, but we all want the same thing. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? And uh, you know, that's what the, well, what the debate can be about is the best approach. But see, my to, thing, Doug, uh, is uh, I'm asking Gideon, see, I'm, I'm asking him what, because if, if you have a glass of dirty water, right. you know what I'm saying? Yang will be like, I have a clean glass of water here. This is a better than that dirty glass of water. He's not offering nothing that's better. Where is your better system, Gideon? Well, I am. Because the, I, I'm, theocracy I'm a, is not a better system. Well, no. See, well, see when I say it. Right, so, right, so, so I'm saying, right, I'm saying, but then democracy look at the is beautiful. Under. But hold on. Democ look, look at the me, system that we're presently okay, under. Okay, right, right. Let me say Are this. Are they not dirtying the water? Let me Do say this. Let me say it? this. Let me say this. Democracy under Jagger Hoover and McCarthy is better than anything in that Bible. Anything. But Hands did they down. not attack us? Then, yeah, they did, but they were attacked in the not, Bible, too. Uh, they uh, were attacked in the Bible, too, The leadership too, that was trying to conform to their laws through a diplomatic, righteous method, they went and undermined him, they sent spies in, and they ultimately shot him down like a dog. I now, right. when, worse than that, no, they wouldn't have shot the dog, but us, we are <laughs> below the dog. You understand? Right. See, now, so what? this is the issue. As revolutionary warriors and men of power and intellect, you do not join a system that wants to kill you. You do not work in it. You do well, not. You work through it, around it. You send infiltrators, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but these infiltrators, just like I was saying about Tyrone Brooks, they once they identify who, that you're an infiltrator, mm -hmm. they will attack you from Be the inside. You lose your power this, base. This, okay, I'm also a member of uh, Democratic Socialists of America. Right. And uh, uh, and. What I want to work towards is a true democracy. That's you know right. That's uh, right. And, and that and the democracy that we're working towards, it doesn't it doesn't really exist anywhere. So mm -hmm. it's it, it, it's a process. Uh, and uh, 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 so this system, of course, it isn't perfect. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it, it has so many things that are wrong about it. Mm -hmm. Look at the 2.5 million people we have incarcerated in prison. Mm -hmm. True. You know what I'm saying? Look at the uh, 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 half of a uh, uh, black black wealth was lost just like that mm -hmm. by the criminal behavior of people on Wall Street. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's right. And no accountability, nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody, no, Teacher. not one of them went to jail. Teach. Yeah. But we'll true. go to jail if we if we steal a, a, a sneaker so, bar. Right. Yeah. Teach, you know what I'm saying? Bro. So the system is completely. There's it's a complete it's, it's hypocr there's hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. There's it, there's so much injustice and unfairness about the whole thing. But we still have to continue to move forward. And just like you know, he was saying, I mean, uh, I believe in the in revolutionary uh, uh, struggle, but but also reforms. You know what I'm saying? If we don't see the Democratic Social of America is, is isn't a party. You know, it's activists. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? And, and 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 we believe in direct action. When you see an injustice, you know what I'm saying? You have to change it. You 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 put you, you put your efforts and energy into that with the collective of people. You know what I'm saying? We don't. We don't. We're, we work with everyone. You know what I'm saying? Let me throw this name oh, out. Okay. I, 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 I got a question. Yeah. Okay. Christopher Jordan Donner. Okay. Christopher Jordan Donner. He was the military genius and police high official in California that wrote a manifesto about mm -hmm. the injustice within the mm -hmm. California police force and how they were mistreating our people. Mm -hmm. And once he wrote that manifesto. They targeted him. Sure, Absolutely. he killed some people, right. but what he was talking about, it finally snapped, just like uh, Brian Nichols. Mm -hmm. He snapped mm -hmm. as a soldier, warrior, prince, just well, like I'm sitting here. He knew that the injustices that were done in the courts we, were wrong. No, no, one is, no one is denying that. I don't think we're denying that. First of all, I think that we have to separate the system 
from white supremacy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of what we're dealing with is 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 white supremacy and white privilege. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. One of the things, and I know a lot of revolutionaries are gonna get mad at me, a lot of this system, this country was founded on revolutionary principles. Absolutely. That's right. Absolutely. So when we're Absolutely. dealing with you're dealing with us allowing the people to hijack some universal basic principles. Life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness is a universal principle. Yes, sir. And everyone should right. be entitled to that. So what I'm saying is that we can't go too long. We have went in our corners too long. We have separated ourselves without being involved, without challenging the system, do the things that they say. And one of the things is, it's like my man Ernesto Che Guevara said, who was a, a, a staunch revolutionary. And I don't think anyone could doubt that. He said, right. wherever any government Offers dem democracy are the semblance of That's democracy, right, right. and armed revolution is not practical. Why? Because the people feel like you're overthrowing them. <laughs> because they believe they have elected their leader. That's so one of the things you have to do see, is you have to see. show the people the hypocrisy and the farce in the so-called system. But the only way that you're going to be able to show them that this is a joke is by them participating and seeing that exactly. it doesn't work for them. You can't sit back and say that's where I it disagree. doesn't work. This you is why he said it so, okay, this, let me just say excellent, something about that. Excellent, that's, excellent. What he said is important because it's very important. Be, because uh, uh, what happened in 2010 with the, with the uh, Citizens United case right. is uh, it has opened the doorway and there's another case coming Define up with the what Supreme Court. Define what you're talking about. I mean, people may not know what the Citizens, uh, Citizens United is a case that's a, that the Supreme Court passed that basically gives corporations the unlimited. That's right. Uh, they can give unlimited amounts of funds to wherever. And exactly. It doesn't have, and it doesn't have to be Whatever disclosed. Whatever political party. So, that, so yes. that's why uh, uh, there's, a gr there's an organization called Move to Amend, which is really important. They want to amend the Constitution so that we can take out corporate personhood. Mm. You know, because mm -hmm. now... Cause, okay. cause, cause now as it is right now with the Supreme Court's decision, corporations are, are, oh, are consi considered right. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't have a democracy. You can't have a democracy where a corporation has more rights than actual human beings. <laughs> Thank right. you. Well, see, that's what and that's fascism. Yes. Yes. That's, yes. that's fascism. That's yes. exactly so, what so, it is. So I Teach. think that's why this, this coming election, I mean, all of these le elections coming up in the future are huge because w what's at stake is, is, is a Supreme Court. The Supreme Court already has five conservative fascists on it. That's right. Yes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. If 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 this country allow, allows one more fascist on that court, right. it could alter the history of this country for a hundred years. Because mm. they've attacked civil rights legislation yes. over, the, over the past 20 years. They've just been chiseling well, away. Well, the National it. Defense Authorization Act was the last piece of the puzzle that they've recently put in place since the Patriot Act right. and these other acts that do what? Take away you the the thought that you had of you your. You got to take the power back. I mean, look at the, the NSA. I yeah. mean, the NSA yeah. is monitoring our phones. And They're don't forget for you religious <laughs> folks the endless war. Act. Yes. Thank God. Yes. Thank God for Edward Snowden. You know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. And, and, and the and the Kiriogdus and the. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Bra Ricky the, Bra the Bradley Mannings and the mm. Julian Assanges. Mm. Teach. And the Mumias. You know, that, the Mumias. Yeah. That's why, uh, you know, uh, uh, just like the, the Panthers talked, you know, this it really is a class struggle. And there Absolutely are some there right. are some good white people out Absolutely there, there who, who, are. who, who are, uh, uh, are, are putting, laying everything on the line, mm. being willing to be incarcerated and locked mm. up from this mm. system, mm. a system that is so corrupt and disgusting and has committed war crimes. And when, when those things come out in the yes. public, Instead of the system saying, okay, what we did was wrong, right. they attack the people who are exactly. exposed. Exactly. They attack the people who are exposing yeah, the wickedness right. of it. Right. Right. Like they're the ones that's, that's wrong. That's why I can't vote for it. That's yeah. right. Well, we have, a, we have another problem too. We have a, mis Teach, we have a misinformed, miseducated, misled electorate. Mm -hmm. electorate of people that are brainwashed by corporate mm -hmm. TV, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. corporate radio, Absolutely. the Fox News, yes. the yes. Sean Hannity's, MSNBC, all, mm -hmm. the whole night. Yeah, yeah, even MSNBC. You know yes. what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I, I used, to, you know, you would, you, you get a little bit of the left on there, but you get on the on MSNBC, you get those people on the left that are worshiping Obama it, yes. Yes. and that, yeah. that administration, <laughs> anything he does to them, yes. they, they try mm -hmm. to, you know, protect. Yes, mm -hmm. but. Uh, uh, that's what has been kind of scary about having the, the you know the Democrats in there this time and all this stuff coming out mm -hmm. with all the corruption mm -hmm. and the NSA. But and see, they're the, all the same. Uh, because, because yeah, of, exactly, I agree with protect, that. Yeah, because if they protect him, yeah. you know what I'm saying. It, 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 show, it shows that even the Democratic Party yeah. has, be, has become 
corrupted because, and, because if we oh, if we man. allow George Bush to do any of the things that mm -hmm. Obama has done, you know what I'm saying? As far mm -hmm. as the drones, man, yeah, four thousand people being murdered by Come drones. On, man. These drones are over there dropping yeah. bombs, dropping, yeah. killing innocent people right. yes. every even, day. Even, every even, day. You, even civilians, even United States. But here, here's my thing, and I agree with you. I think that the Democratic Party, Republican Party, like our dear brother Malcolm said, it's like going from the wolf to the damn fox, or oh, the fox right. to the wolf. Teach. But it doesn't mean, still, even with that, yes, as a black nationalist, yes, and when we say black nationalist, it doesn't mean hate any other group. Truly. It says look at the other groups who practice something that is natural as nationalism. Nationalism is as natural as breathing. Certainly it is. That we have to first understand that we are a collective, we are a people, we are a unique people. Yes. We're yeah, not we are a people. We are a people. Right. We're not unique people. That's we're not. Right. We're not. We're not that African right. that we were when we came over here. Whether we like it or not, through True. slavery and through coming over there, True. we have been ingrained and in, 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 indoctrinated mm -hmm. in a whole different so in a whole different society. So our thinking and our makeup and even our genetically, we're made up differently. Right. You know what I'm saying? Too. Just deny a lot of things. You can't even. A lot of us can't even deny deny white ancestry. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? We're not Egyptians. Intermixed. We're not. We're not Egyptians. We're not. We're not you know. I mean, and this is for my brothers. I know. That I'm gonna hear a lot of this. My phone's gonna be ringing <laughs> off the hook. Yeah, I, I can't believe we're, we're all African. We're, we're, all, we're all, all, all humanity. All humanity. All humanity. But, all but humanity. when I say we're all Africans, but I don't want to get into that. They, you, right, you, right, your right. brothers and sisters know what I'm talking exactly. about when I say African. Right. right. So well, I'm, I'm African. Exactly. But you know what I'm saying. Yes, sir. But anyway, I say all of this to say that until we do, all we have to do is simply look around as the people who practice nationalism to say I can show you how political, economic, social, and education involvement works. Look at our brothers and sisters from the uh, Jewish faith, and okay. and people gonna get mad at me. Mm -hmm. Israel is a legal state. Yes, you see what exactly. I'm saying. Exactly. And but through political maneuvering, thank you. Through educational maneuvering and social right. and this and that, they have and been white recognized. Privilege. All right. Let me say yeah, one. Can I say one? Right. one yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A DSA yeah, is a is an activist organization. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, so we're not a party. But uh, one of the things in DSA is, you know, there's some socialist parties who want to have a separate ticket, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To have a separate political party besides yes, the Republican exactly. Party mm -hmm. and the Democrat yeah. Party. Okay. Right. But now is, was, is really not the time to leave the Democratic Party. You know what I'm saying? Really? To start a third party. You think so? Not really, man. I, think I, think well, see, what yeah, I, believe, I would agree. What I, I believe, what I believe okay. is that the Democratic Party, we have to get rid of those, those liberals who have right. sold out, and we have to have more progressives. We have to have more progressive Democrat people in the party. I think black people need to do like the Tea Party. We need to have a coffee party. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Okay. We yeah. have to have because black every time coffee, black, black coffee. <laughs> because every what ends up happening is when we we blindly give our allegiance to these parties. Thank you. Because at one point in time we were Thank Republicans. You. Yes. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So we blindly exactly. give our allegiance to these parties exactly. and our issues and our and our problems, our specific needs and issues that address our community specifically get pushed to the back. Exactly. We need people that go in and say, hey, look, this now. Now we can work in conjunction Absolutely. with the Democratic Party. Right. Or we may work in conjunction with the republic now because we are me. because now listen because if we turn things over if we don't vote and we allow, allow these republicans to get to uh now we gotta vote though we gotta oh, get no, involved no, no, that's no, all no, i'm no, saying no, i'm no, saying no, if we allow the involved. republican oh, no. if we allow it to go even further to the right man it, it'll i'm be, just it, simply saying yeah. they're both the same yeah see no, the they're abolitionist they're not, movement not in the, the same slavery way. time was a good cop bad cop scenario that we bought into you never were free you were just turned from one form of slavery to another farm they flipped it on you like they've always been quick talkers and, and as long as you don't listen to what they're saying they got you yeah. oh you're gonna be good just go north and then yeah. they're gonna bring their paid yeah. associates yeah. to come and sneak you in yeah. thank you going freedom yeah. and you go right over there and they didn't have they didn't chain you with the chain they chain you with the pen yeah. you know okay. it, it, oh yeah uh you won't be able to get that here's question. another way of thinking too though instead of just always thinking immediately like right now right you have to think Years from now. Yeah. Okay, well, let me add on to that. Let me add on to that. You know, because I think, you know, I think we're getting confused. Y'all have already seen the three card money, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. And I think, do we say, hey, man, that brother's cheating, or do we learn the game? Hmm. He's cheating. That's, right. Oh, he's I'm, cheating. I'm, I'm with the, you know, I'm with the EC. Kick the whole table over. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so you changed the game? Or you changed the game. You don't you don't you don't you don't play his game. You know what I'm saying? Unless exactly. you're if you're forced to play his game, if I'm forced to stay in Las Vegas, then I'm forced to play his game, then I'm gonna find a click of people to say, hey, look, we're forced to do this. We gotta find our way out of this. Right. Right. I don't want to, I don't right. want to Bingo. you know, my, my thing is like I said, we and we had an independent black party, it was called Inbuilt. You know right. what I'm saying? And Jesse and everybody, they sold us out when the Democrats came to them. And, you know, and they said, okay, let's go over Greens here. And palms, right, man. greens and palms. I think that we have to be careful. Just like I'm, you know, I look at the Tea Party, I'm like, wow, how the hell did they do that? I think that as as African people here in America, we have to start really doing that. We have to start looking at really separating getting and getting our defense leagues and our political parties. See, the plan, the plan is to take state power, right? Eventually. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? We have a party that takes state power and control. And then uh, you have all you know all these corporations that are making billions and billions of dollars. That's right. You nationalize them, mm -hmm. okay, and you so put some you, you make you put some equality back into the society. Because right now we, we're we're living in the most unequal society on the planet. Okay, so right. what, okay, we have so eighty five people who now have more wealth than half the planet. Absolutely. Okay, okay, so with that inequality, we're seeing the game being played because I see everybody on here talking about how marijuana cures this and oh marijuana is good. Mm. No marijuana is a part not, of no marijuana right. is a part of the, the game. Plan. It's, it's a part, part of the game right. that they're so using to lock us up. Right. Exactly. So, so, it's, it's the new Jim Crow, man. So, yeah. so, it's the new Jim Crow. Right. so, so I'm talking Jim about Crow. strategy as as warriors. Right. Why are we why are we why are we taking the bait? That's part of it, man. It, this okay. is what they're right. using so, so, this is what they're using to incarcerate right. us. Right. Okay, so right, right. So we're so why, so why, so why, okay. why are we it's not about it's not about taking it's not about taking the bait. Right. If it wasn't marijuana, it, we can it look at the we else. can look at the disproportionate sentences for crack cocaine and powder cocaine. That's right. You know what right. So right. if it's not marijuana, it's something. Thank you. What we're saying is this we're addressing the fact that since they're using marijuana, we're addressing what we're taking that issue. Legalize it. So they can't this is the yeah. pretext this is one of my right. concerns with us getting into any party blindly. And we get like when we went out there and sat with uh, when we went to Revolutionary Books. Oh yeah. And yeah, we were talking. Nice, they were yeah. talking about we got to get rid of the culture that is uh, demoralizing yeah. and twerking, that, right. yeah, that is derogatory. And then one of the things that came out this twerking. Yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. I have a problem with that. <laughs> first of all, firstly, I like the twerking. I like, hey, hey. I like, like to see, like see twerking. Twerk. And secondly, exactly. I was someone showed me. On a video in Africa, Culture. the sisters were twerking. Thank you. You see what I'm saying? Thank so you. we have to be careful allowing people to defy what is moral, what is ethic, exactly. especially for when it went for us. So right. what I'm saying is I'm not saying that we don't build coalitions. And I'm not saying that we don't work with other people because as a nationalist and a revolutionary, you have to be a humanitarian. Exactly. We're not oppressors, right. but we have to first be concerned with us. Yes. And there's nothing wrong with it. Everyone does it. And but when right. it comes yeah, yeah, to that's us, argument. there's that's a problem. Argument. Blacks and Latinos are, 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 are thrown in prison because of marijuana. Yeah. I'm like, let, we need to it change that. But, see, but what I'm saying is, no, so, they, no they're, but they're, white people are using the marijuana. Thank you. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's not, so, okay, it's, okay, okay, just made a point. It's, it's, it's yeah. about us. So the, we, we are falling into the trap. But look, you know, these, saying, okay, okay, these, so do we stop driving? If someone does a drive-by, if someone does a drive-by, do we stop driving cars? See, this is the deal. These statistics, right? How much time We all use it at the same amount. You know what I'm saying? At the same level. Right, right, right. But we're disproportionately targeted by the police. Thank you. We're right. not targeting white people. Right. Right. Now, right. now what was what does okay. that mean, black? See, that means come out of that political day. No, if, 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 no, if we legalize, if we legalize, if we legalize it, it or decriminalize it, Thank you. then they don't have the pretext or the motivation <laughs> okay, so then, to so continue to violate our rights looking for marijuana. Right. So, so this this is what we need to do then. Because did you know in California where marijuana is legal yes. and you have a marijuana card, yes. probation can still violate you. Thank you need to change those laws too. Right. Right. Okay, I'm because glad we're talking about that. Right. Right. Yeah. It's same in Colorado. If you're on probation, right. I don't care if you got a marijuana card, you come up positive, you're going to prison. Oh, that's, what hey, that's, that's, that's what Drug oh. Policy Alliance is trying to change too. We're okay, trying so to we change need to, those we need laws. To, right. we need to get Let's on say that. somebody smokes marijuana on the weekend. Right. They shouldn't be affected, but at the at their lose their job a week later exactly. because they smoked marijuana. So two, then that's what we because need to they smoke marijuana two weeks ago. But that's what, 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 we what are we losing now in Atlanta? 
Because now they've changed the laws that you have to have a test for marijuana to get your food stamps. Right, that's yeah. right. right. That's that's right. Yeah. So, I, I mean, political Housing activism, that's right. really yeah. a, one, another trick. One, that one they, marijuana charge can stop you from losing your job. I mean, stop you from getting your job. Yeah. Housing. Stop, exactly. stop Housing, you from, from getting housing. Exactly. I mean, you shouldn't be uh, put out of the system right. your so whole life. Right, of the new Jim Crow. Which is still the same Jim Crow. Jim is still a crow. The corporation is James saying, Crow Esquire. When you say, he's still black. Listen, when you say oh, marijuana Esquire. does this and marijuana does that, the corporations are doing this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got the battle in, in the probation office, in the courts. Yes. Well, they're not, yes. they're not, yes. not listening because the corporations are genetically modifying they, and altering the marijuana because they're going to be selling it. Right. And now. selling it. And then when you come up positive, then we don't lock you in jail. Exactly. So you gotta buy Look at all the damage. Okay, so, sorry, sorry, man. Well, you're gonna say you're gonna rob Peter to pay Paul. That's basically. what they've been doing. So right. this is what you're saying. Once they know again, marijuana cures. You're looking you know, but at they... a system that, by its very design, is to kill you, incarcerate right. you, miseducate right. you, experiment on you, and make and a profit off you. Right. So well, never, that has never changed. That's been since the inception of this country. Thank we have you. Been the, we have been the. So we cannot yeah. okay, so support it. Mm -hmm. And brothers like yourself who are uh, activists, we have to revolutionary uh, too. Uh, activists, yeah. revolutionary. Yeah, yeah, we have yeah. to develop organizations that fight against it, not support and vote for. I don't think. I don't think. I think that that's where we have the the, the the misunderstanding. I don't think that because one of your strategies is complete, you know, is is going at them and and getting involved and staying in their face and saying, hey, look, this is this and that is that. That you're you're not supporting a system. You know what I'm saying? I think that you empower. It's like the bully on the schoolyard. Eventually, you got to get with the bully. Right. Eventually, right. you got to go exactly. up against the bully. You can't run yeah, over by the. You can't over by the. You know the, the the playground, the sliding board. You can't hide from them. Right. You can't do this thing. You're gonna have to get with that bully. Exactly. You're gonna have to stand up and address some issues. Had we not had people doing that, this is what I'm saying that we wouldn't even be here now, sitting right. here having this discussion. We may not totally. I don't agree with. Dr. King's philosophy, but that's easy for me to say in this day and time, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. But I don't agree with the philosophy of nonviolence. I don't right. agree with integration. Mm -hmm. I don't agree with any of that, mm -hmm. but I do see how it was useful mm -hmm. at that time as a weapon, at the very least. Now, at the we very got about least, five minutes yeah, left. Let me say this one left. last part. At the very least, had he not doing had had he not done that, we still would be thinking that integration was and the way I'll, to go. Let me just say this briefly. The genius among our people, the inventive, creative genius, we have demonstrated, we have modernized and mechanize this country through our own genius. So the uh, the fact that you think that because Whitey has allowed us to have some semblance of equality that we would not be on a television station, they would not even have a oh, television man, station if it wasn't for the genius that we have brought exactly. through creating. They, they, would, they would have it, but you still other, wouldn't be on it, did you? You would get, you man, you know, Okay, they stole people. Look at Jeff got peanut butter. You know the brother came up with the, the peanut thing and this that. And you got Skippy, George Washington the coffee. You got Skippy, <laughs> Peter Pan. Right. Everybody got paid with us. Yeah. So they will still take your your thing and they still will exploit you. Yeah, so you what know. I'm saying is that we have to attack this beast by any and every means necessary. You got some. Yeah. Check out. Uh, you got three, uh, three so, minutes. So all the uh, viewers out there, please check out this report from the ACLU. It's called the War on Marijuana. In black and white, it came out about five, six months ago. You can check it out online, and you can see for yourself all the racial profiling. Where do we go on. online to get it? Uh, uh, yeah. You go to the ACLU. Uh, I can't remember the exact look. Just look up the war on marijuana in black and white mm -hmm. from the ACLU. It's a record. Look, it's we can have you back again sometime. Yeah, and yeah, Operation yeah. Ghetto Storm. Y'all seen this, right? From no. Malcolm. This is from Malcolm X Grassroots Movement. There was 313 extrajudicial killings by police vigilantes and security guards in 2012. You guys, all the names. So there was more, more than just Trayvon Martin. All right, and right you can check the genocide. So all right, we out. <laughs> Peace. Y'all next week. Peace, y'all. Peace. Sorry, about that, man. We be all. We're gonna deal with the union. <laughs> <laughs> this is a union hey. right here. Yeah, yeah. that's cool though. We were all, we were all, all we get all over the place. Hey, with me, man. Yeah, man, he said that was good. We were all over the place, but it was still good. It was still good, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd have had you back, I think, man. I think uh, uh, we, oh, definitely. it turned out great. Oh, you got to do Gideon show too, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got to do. Yeah, you got to yeah, do. Yeah, show. yeah, yeah. We got to have you back, so yeah. maybe we can stay on. Maybe we can stay. <laughs> well, yeah, this is how we get it in. Yeah. Can I jack you for this?
Oh yeah, go ahead. Are you got you sure? Yeah, yeah. It, it's that's. I work I get last copies, but, you but no, I don't want. I don't want Jackie's last copy. No, I, I got the full report right here. Oh, shit. this is just a short report. This is just the. Uh, uh, I, I stopped it right here instead of giving the whole thing because the whole report is about a hundred pages. Mm -hmm. And then these are the final three, three pages that show oh, all the deaths oh, by the police. Yeah. 